Welcome back, Love Tribe. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. Um, remember I told you I was going to change things up a little bit over here. So I've decided to do the Zodiacs on the first of every month for the entire month. This is going to be Virgo's reading for the month of September. However, I'm going to focus my attention on love and romance relationships. Um, it can be friendships. It can be you know, business. I'm going to leave it open, but I'm focusing my intention on love and romance. If something else presents itself, I absolutely will read that the way that spirit brings it to me. Okay. So uh, once again, we're on Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. The only announcement I have to make is we are at the end of the month. Our gratitude drawing is going to be tomorrow evening um, at 7.30 p.m., Eastern Central Time. And so if you have ordered a reading or donated money or did a super chat or somehow supported, monetarily supported my channel, um, there's a huge package. Um, I call it huge because it's quite a bit of stuff and I'm loving on you. So there are two decks of cards. There is a journal you will get to choose if you want the Twin Flame Journey Journal or the Manifestation Scripture Life Journal. And there is an Andara, monatomic Andara crystal, which is very high vibrational galactic energy. So everything is over in the community tab, by the way, if you're interested in knowing what's in that. It's not too late for you to get in. You've got 24 hours. You can make a, a donation. There's a, a wish list you can donate to in the description box. There's a like a tip jar, you know, a PayPal me. Um, you can buy me a cup of coffee. Um, you can donate a deck of cards, crystals, or you can personally um, get a, a reading from me. And if you're already a Patreon, then you're already entered. You don't need to do anything um, that you're entered in simply because you are my Patreon. And I do have another announcement. I'm not sure if I've made this over here on YouTube, but I've definitely announced it on Patreon. If you join Patreon at the 1111, which I created for twin flames and those who are on an ascension journey, you don't have to be a twin flame, but you have to resonate with being on an awakening spiritual ascension. And if you don't know what that is, then you probably aren't on one because most people are really struggling in that area. And the 2222 is an all access pass. The 444 gets you all the extended. So there will be an extended video um, for this Virgo reading over on Patreon. It's $4.44 a month. So those of you who join Patreon at the 1111 or 2222, you get a $40 discount once a month that you can take advantage of for a pre-recorded personal reading from me. I normally charge $100 for a full hour. And um, for Patreons in those two tiers only, you can purchase one a month at $60. That's a $40 discount. That's in order to make your commitment to Patreon pay for itself, okay? Because there may be weeks where I'm sick or I'm on vacation where I can't always get the promised videos uploaded in a timely manner. And so this way, your Patreon pledge pays for itself if you take advantage of getting a reading each month. All right, enough announcements. I'm going to bring you down to your monthly Zodiac reading. <clears throat> in love and relationship and anything else spirit wants to talk about. So we're going to read your uh, general energy is be bold and make the first move. Now these oracles, do I want to look at those now spirit? Spirit says these two, look at these two now. So we have manifestation be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. Be bold and make the first move, step one. 
Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we have inspiration. Be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. So inspiration, that could be somebody uh, else inspired to contact you and make that first move manifesting, or that can be your energy. All right, let's take a look at your tarot, these first three, and then these are clarifiers. So your first tarot card, oh, there, visionary leader, king of wands. That is absolutely manifestation and creativity, inspiration. Next we have, oh, the death card in reverse. So we like that, I think, depending on how we clarify. And the three of cups in the upright. So I'm liking this energy, guys, without reading the clarifiers. It looks to me like somebody's going to be bold and make the first move. All right. Now, the death card being in reverse, this could mean that a transformation has occurred or needs to occur. We're going to take a look at the clarifier for that. But we do have union energy on the bottom, or I mean, as the outcome. So this is going out on a date, having coffee, um, conversation. It's not a big gesture, but it is a gesture. And it's something happy, happy celebration, you know, having a date, possibly going on a date. So let's clarify the King of Wands. So we have the Six of Pentacles, the Death card is clarified. Wow. I need to look that up real quick. Hold on. I should know it, but I want to be sure. The chariot. The chariot? Five, six, seven. Yeah, it's the chariot. So this is the Osho Zen tarot. And they really do things a little differently. So I'm reading this intuitively. I know what it is, but we're going to take a look at the intuition part of it too. All right. And then we have the Queen of Swords with the Three of Cups. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. I do have a bit of, they're mowing the lawn outside. That speaks for itself. So I don't want to speak anything into being, but there it is. All right, be bold and make the first move. Manifestation, taking that first step. Inspiration can come knocking at any time. So I see a king of wands with the death in the reverse, the three of cups, hammered down here by the six of pentacles. So this is probably your person, if you have a person. I'm going to read it both ways, whether you're single or, or in some kind of a energetic, I like to call them quantumly entangled with another person's energy, because it's not always in somebody that you're dating, but it's somebody that you're investing in. So what I'm seeing here with the King of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, somebody's ready to invest. I mean, that's absolutely what I'm seeing here with the manifestation, taking the first move, making the first step and manifesting, being inspired, fire, energy, inspiration, creativity. Six of Pentacles is generosity. It's equal give and take. It's reciprocity. It's compromise, right? It's um, I'm ready to compromise. I'm ready to meet you where you're at. That's good energy. Then we have the death in reverse with the chariot 
which in this deck is awareness. All right. This is somebody who is seeing beyond the veil. This is somebody that's had some kind of clarity. This is a trans transformation that has brought clarity is what I feel. There's been a transformation that's brought clarity, whether it's to you or to your person. Then we have the three of cups celebration and community with the queen of swords. And so what I'm feeling from this is spirit saying that you're going to have to have healthy boundaries with this person. And there's also a warning here, healthy boundaries. Yes. Okay. Make sure this person is, single, you know, three sometimes represent. If they're not, find out where they're at, what's going on, are they committed, that kind of thing. And with the Queen of Swords, it's you don't accept anything less than the kind of behavior you're or so with the six of pentacles, you are being cautioned to not accept anything less than equal give and take. If this person shows up just wanting to have fun, then be aware. Because for some of you, this is definitely going to play both ways, okay? So for some of you, this person's had a transformation and they found awareness. And for others of you, this person hasn't really changed. And it's for you to be aware of that, okay? That balance needs to be had with the six because the, the uh, chariot is balance, right? You've got to balance. The, the charioteer has to be in balance internally in order to move forward. So there's a caution here for you to make sure that, that you're aware of exactly what it is this person is proposing and is it fair and balanced or is it a compromise of your integrity, right? Be aware. And I think that you already have come far enough on your journey <clears throat> that you can discern queen of swords on whether or not this person's behavior is appropriate is what I want to say. But be prepared because it does look like something is coming in for you and it may be coming in quickly. Discernment's going to be necessary. So whether you're single or, or dating or embroiled in somebody's energy, the message is the same for the month of September. Some kind of propel propulsion <laughs> in this energy is fired up. Something's going to happen. Somebody's going to get bold and make a move, whether it's you or your person. There's inspiration behind wanting to manifest this date or this coming together or this conversation, whatever this three of cups is, because it's going to be different for each of you. Make sure it doesn't compromise your integrity. Make sure you're aware of where they're coming from and ask the right questions. Don't allow anybody in too close to your heart until you see their intent. Okay? Now, if this is you making the first move, then know that your person is probably going to be a little guarded. Because in the tarot, it doesn't matter whether it's masculine or feminine energy, it's energy. You could be embodying the masculine energy and they could be embodying the feminine or vice versa. It's energy, okay? But if you're on the receiving, whoever's on the receiving end of this inspired action needs to be very clear and aware of what this person's intentions is, okay? So that's your message for the month of September. Let's get you some advice. Oh, look at that. 
We have Twin Flame. This is a divine counterpart or connection. So for those of you who are single, you could absolutely be manifesting your divine counterpart. Um, it doesn't have to be a Twin Flame, but I'm telling you, this is not a Twin Flame deck. There's only one card in this entire deck that says Twin Flame. So only take this as it resonates. If you're on the Twin Flame journey, and I know a lot of my viewers are, then this could possibly be the two of you coming to some kind of a, a, a renewed energy. But it does come with a caution to be very discerning and know exactly what your person's intentions are. Okay? We'll go deeper into this over on Patreon. I'm going to pick this apart with a fine-tuned code. All right, we have create. Again, manifest with create and inspiration. So I'm going to hold this up if you want to screenshot it and read it. It's kind of small letters, but maybe you'll be able to figure it out. It says create. A gentle whisper here, a tug within your womb there. Can you sense it? Or I'm sorry, let me just start that over. A gentle whisper here, a tug within your womb there. You can sense it, can't you? When you lie awake at night wondering why you cannot sleep, your body knows exactly what you're here to do. The wisdom of your purpose is ingrained in your very cells. So when you hear that faint whisper pulling at your heart, when you feel the beckoning in your womb, strong and clear as day, when you find you cannot sleep, it is time to create. Okay. So that's pretty clear too, because we got manifest with create. And so the twin flame journey is all about alignment, vibrational alignment. And what it looks like to me here is that there's going to be a renewed energy around this connection. And if you're not in a connection and you're calling in, manifesting, creating this connection, then it looks very promising, but it does end in the Three of Cups in September, which is not very far along. It's more playful. It's joyous. It's spontaneity, light, casual dating. And with the Queen of Swords, somebody here is going to be demanding <laughs> that some boundaries not be crossed. And with that gentle whisper, that's intuition and inspiration. I feel like what Spirit's saying is feel your way into this, okay? Make sure that it's progressing the way that you need it to in order to be fair. Don't compromise. Be aware and be in control. That's your reading. I feel very firm about that. But somebody is going to make a move here. It could be you, could be them. I'm going to be honest because I read intuitively. I feel like it's the masculine in the situation. But gender doesn't really play into tarot. So take it with your own discernment. But there is action coming. And with the chariot, it could come in very quickly. All right. So this is your reading, guys. I'm going to take this over to Patreon. And uh, if you're not already a Patreon and you can afford $4.44 a month, come on over because all the extendeds every month will be over there. And I go much deeper into the readings. Okay. So if you feel like this is your energy and you want to go deeper, go on over there and make your pledge. And um, if you are a twin flame, I would recommend the 1111 tier so that you can get all of the Twin Flame content because that's where I create it, okay? And you get the discount on a monthly reading. All right, I love you guys. Mwah. Namaste.